We also continue following breaking news that we shared with you at 9 o'clock. Ravens linebacker Jalen Ferguson has sadly died. Now, there are still a lot of unknowns as the Baltimore Ravens mourn the loss of one of their own. WJ's investigator Mike Helgren is live at M&T Bank Stadium with the latest. Mike, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tim. Good afternoon, Lynn, and everybody. You're right. There's still a lot we don't know. We have not yet gotten uh, the official cause of death. Uh, the autopsy still has to be performed. But what we can tell you is that friends and fans are mourning Ferguson. He's a Louisiana native who practiced with the team just last week. Jalen Ferguson, Dan Dacker, Louisiana Cat. Linebacker Jalen Ferguson joined the Ravens with fanfare as the third round draft pick in 2019. And now the team is mourning his death at age 26. The Ravens tweeted, We are profoundly saddened by the tragic passing of Jalen Ferguson. He was a kind, respectful young man with a big smile and infectious personality. We express our heartfelt condolences to Jalen's family and friends as we mourn a life lost much too soon. Baltimore police confirm responding to an incident last night just before 1130 in the 400 block of Ilchester Avenue in the Harwood neighborhood. They say they found Ferguson unresponsive and began treatment. WJZ has obtained radio transmissions of that response. Reported downtime was 35 minutes. We're at the 32 minute mark of CPR on a Lucas device. He's given four rounds of FB, given sodium bicarbonate and calcium. Patient still ACEs out. He is intubated. Has an end title of 37. We want to know if you are right with us terminating resuscitation. Police say there were no signs of foul play or trauma. First responders could not revive Ferguson. Hey, unless you have any other uh, thoughts, I think it's okay to terminate at this point. Copy, Doc. We're going to go ahead and terminate resuscitation. His body will be sent to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy. And Ferguson was a father with several young children. We're continuing to gather information, and we have some from teammates right now at WJZ.com. Reporting live at MT Bank Stadium, Mike Helgren, WJZ.